As demonstrated in our other video, surface casting is a process where you cast a high performance resin on the surface of your part over a core made of an inexpensive resin which is usually filled. The most common method involves laying up a layer of sheet wax on your mold, pouring your core material, removing the sheet wax, and then pouring into the gap. In this video, we're going to show you an alternate method. It involves using a thixotropic additive to make our high performance resin brushable. In this case, we're going to take our Freeman 1060 semi rigid urethane elastomer. As we demonstrated elsewhere, this material is highly abrasion resistant and impact resistant, so it makes a great surface material. By adding Rencast 6400 1 as a third component, we've made our 1060 urethane thick enough to brush onto the surface of our mold as you see here. Now, if we want a thinner surface coat, perhaps to pick up finer details in an intricate pattern, we could use less of the additive. And if we want a thicker surface coat, we simply add more of the additive to thicken the resin. And of course, we can do both, where we apply a thicker layer behind a partially cured thin layer. Now, before we pour our core material, we have to make sure that we get a good bond between our surface material and our core material. Most unfilled urethanes, when they cure, they have a smooth surface. That can actually be a problem when pouring our core material on top of it. Without a good bond, the casting could later delaminate. So we address this in two steps. First, we sand the backside of our surface coat with an abrasive, and then clean it out with a rag or an air hose. The backside is now no longer smooth or slick. Then we apply two coats of the Devcon Flexane FL20 primer. This primer lowers the surface energy even more and really promotes adhesion between the two urethane materials. Now we're ready to weigh and mix our core material. We've chosen our Repro-1 Fastcast Urethane. Fastcast urethanes are filled resins, which makes them less expensive than unfilled resins. These materials are also relatively easy to work with because of their one-to-one -one mix ratio and their quick demold times. After just a few hours, our casting is ready to demold. Our mold is actually a glove mold. This means that it is constructed with a thin layer of flexible silicone rubber and a rigid backing material. This makes demolding really easy, as you see here. Now, every project is different. Sometimes the classic surface casting method is your best bet because you have a greater variety of materials to choose from and you can achieve greater precision in surface cast thickness. Other times you can save quite a bit of labor and make a surface cast part using this method. Either way, you produce a casting with greater impact and abrasion resistance with less shrink and overall cost. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are released. This particular video was created to complement our initial series of instructional videos. Originally released on DVD, all of our videos are now available in our extensive online video library, which you can view in sequence and for free at freemanvideos.com. And again, thanks for watching.